Ray! Horrible sight for Mark Marquez. Oh. That was a monster high side. Let's hope that it's nothing too serious for the world champion. It's true that after the, this injury, I feel that the concept of the life changed a little bit. They say that from the hard uh, periods, uh, you learn, you change, and, uh, and yeah, the time will say if I'm uh, better or worse. <laughs> What's in store for Marc Marquez? The eight-time world champion is back and will start from sixth. Is he playing it up? Is he playing it down? Is he spot on? Sixth on the grid. Great start by Marc Marquez and he's up to fourth place already, trying to find a way through. Oh, oh Marquez! Marquez. Whoa. He touches the rear wheel there of Twatmere. The returning Mark Marquez will take that P7 for number 93 ahead of his younger brother Alex. Great scenes there down in Repsol Honda for Mark Marquez. I'm sure there's a bit of emotion there. You know, let's not forget this was a moment he, he thought may never happen again. That was a career threatening right arm injury he suffered in Jerez. He's got nothing left to give. He's absolutely mentally, emotionally, and physically drained. 518 long days, do you know, since that man finished a MotoGP race. He's been through some of the darkest times imaginable, times that nobody on earth could imagine. You know, wondering whether he'd ever race and be in this position ever again. And here he is, back in MotoGP, back where he belongs, and back doing his absolute best and maximum. I'm a person that uh, I try to keep my emotions inside. I don't know, I go in on the garage and I see all the people and uh, just I start uh, crying. I don't know why, because it was not so painful. I mean, I was tired, of course, but it uh, was just uh, emotion. And uh, I cannot explain because uh, I try to keep to keep it inside of me, but it was impossible. <laughs> Today I finished seventh. Uh, when I finished seventh in my career, I mean, uh, when I was going out from the top four, top three, I just uh, push and crash or stay on the or stay on the podium. But uh, but it's true that uh, now in this period uh, my mentality is completely different. I will have time uh, to to come back as uh, as I was, but uh, step by step. had adapts, I will not say two months ago, even one week ago. If I will be able to ride uh, the bike again like I want, and I'm coming and I arrive here in Sunshine Ring, yeah, it's a good circuit, but uh, I'm coming from three crashes in a row. This is the man to beat, the king of the ring. But the big question is, can he do it again today? My instincts say, OK, it will be difficult, but uh, this weekend was the day. Mark Marquez, 
fifth on the grid, second row. He feels like he's got a great chance of fighting for the podium, potentially fighting for the victory as well. Who is going to discount Mark Marquez around the Saxon ring? What comes next? The German Grand Prix is underway. Marquez has got the inside line. He's yep. up to second. The latest Fargo on the F-Pretty that leads down the hill into turn 12 for the first time. He's having a lunge, Mark Marquez. Marquez leads at the end of lap one here in Germany. He's got that feeling back. The latest Fargo down the hill. He pulls up alongside Mark Marquez. He's going to have a look. He's through. Marquez is going to try and fight back through at turn 13. He made this move on the previous lap. He's made it again. Twitchy by Alexis Bargarosa Prulia. He gathers it all back up, but Marquez will lead at the end of the second lap. What a comeback. What a return. What a race. What a world champion. Nearly 600 days after his last MotoGP success. Mark Marquez stands on the brink of a fairy tale victory here in the Saxon ring. He is back, ladies and gentlemen, and still the king of the ring. Mark Marquez wins here in Germany. He has been through some of the darkest days you could imagine. Worried about whether his career would be finished by that serious fractured right humus in Jerez last year. What a moment in history. What a sporting story. Tears from Takao Yokoyama. You've never seen that before. And Alberto Pucci as well. It's not only a victory, it's uh, something more. Thank you, everybody. Eh? It was a hard time. I know that with all of you, it was a very hard time, but uh, if we keep working, we just need to believe. And uh, I write to Kubata san uh, before Portimao that we will come back to the top. This is the first step. I don't want to stop here. I know that uh, we, we are in a hard situation, but uh, together with Honda, HRC, and uh, all of this group of people, we will come back to the top. That is the championship. Thank you. The, the fuel tank, the, the fuel tank was in the limit. Now here in Schatzenring we find a petrol station. Eh? So now, now continue working. 500 días, tío. Vaya tela, gacho. 500 y pico días. 581. 581. Sí, 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 581 días, tío. Last month I just forget everything. Just uh, try to disconnect, but uh, don't read any news, uh, don't uh, even don't go in in the uh, social media. I try to concentrate only on my personal and professional life. Uh, I'm not close to be the same mark, and, uh, and I would like to say yes. In right corners I'm a struggle, in the change directions I'm a struggle. Uh, today here is only one change direction on T3, but I was struggling a lot. How many circuits we have uh, with only three right corners? I mean only this one.
Of course, next week we will have another uh, time. Uh, we will come back to our real life at the moment. But uh, this is extra fuel, extra motivation for the future. Win number 11, undefeated still at the Saxon Ring. What a day in the life of Marc Marquez. 581 days since his last victory, and he is back.